Uh, now, before we get on to the other games, what an absolute debacle at Hawthorne. Mm. What, what an absolute embarrassment to themselves. CJ, they, they couldn't have executed this plan any more shambolically than they did. Mm. Um, from three and a half weeks ago when they made the public announcement that Sam Mitchell would take over in a succession plan yep. from Alistair Clarkson. So they've effectively tarnished Alistair Clarkson's legacy at that footy club after 17 seasons. They couldn't have made it more difficult for Sam Mitchell yes. to, to start the job, given it was already going to be a, a mountain of work anyway. And then you've also got the, the lying that, that went on throughout the whole course of, of events and I got take... sucked into it I think yeah, we did. all got sucked into it it's going to be a beautiful marriage yeah oh, it's what a week no, later no, no well Damo and I were at that initial yeah. media conference so and... you didn't believe all that what they said well I didn't believe it would go as pear-shaped as quickly as what it has but mm. it just didn't seem to have that feel about well, it they were married felt... for a week <laughs> well in <laughs> sickness and in health apparently well no only for a week and then Clarko of course he gets paid out nice payout Lordo yeah, yeah. and then uh, Sam Mitchell he gets the house and the kids <laughs> <laughs> I felt it would, would result in what's happened this did week. Did that go better on Triple M when you did it yesterday? It didn't actually work on Triple M either. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you went with the second time, Bill. But, um, so, Damo, who hatches the plan, right, yep. Yep. to put it out to the public the way it is? Because Hawthorne have always done things the right yep. way. Hawthorne yep. have always been up here in the upper echelon of clubs you look at. You know, they yep. handle their, stu yep. their stuff well, but how they stuff this up look, so royally? Basically, once Alistair Clarkson got the answer that he didn't want deep down, that is that he wouldn't be continuing in the initial plan beyond 2022, he just didn't want to be there. And he worked behind the scenes actively from that very moment, including this week, and he's almost out political Jeff on this whole matter, the way it's all played out. Because, as you said, Brownie, and as, as you acknowledged that last week, Bill, that what Alistair Clarkson said last Friday, when he brought personal tragedy into his description of his yes. contract being upheld by him, three days later, he's out. So, Damien, you're saying at that time he's saying all that. Yeah. He would deep down think that... He, he, he's he he's forcing he... Hawthorne to do what they so did. So he's generally. happy to say all that, even though he knew he might probably unlikely to coach. Well, you either Surely take him at his word and he stays and sees a contract yeah. out, or you don't yeah. believe a word he yeah. says. And ultimately, you can't believe mm. anything that he said or Jeff Just Kennedy said. Just waiting for the payout. He waiting was. for the payout. He's yeah. got the payout. And you that's fine. You could have done it. You know, Mick Malthouse did it beautifully at Carlton. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you yeah. could have done it in a more dignified manner, yeah. like Mick did. Well, at least he was true to himself, I think, in the whole thing, in, in how he presented himself publicly. Yeah. But Jeff Kennett's role in it, TJ, I mean, he, he talks about tenures and used by dates of other people. He had his time at Hawthorne. Now, this is his response to, to Caroline Wilson's reporting of, of an aspect of this. And let me be very clear. This was a planned meeting. Our players knew it was going to take place. We like to be transparent at Hawthorne and there'll be more of these meetings in, to plan our future. I just want to take a look at his situation. 2006 to 2011, taking in the, the 2008 flag. That was his first time as president. He then, obviously, time was up under the Constitution, took off from the footy club board. So he actually made that decision himself to, to not have a second term for a president. We then see him make various comments publicly, including one where he rang in, rang in, volunteered his views on Alistair Clarkson that he should step down in round one of 2013. Now, that was a season that started the three premierships in, in a row. He then, you know, needs to be seen and heard and, and, and was then talked about and was actively getting himself involved in the leadership position at the Melbourne Football Club, making comments about that club being a, a rebel, saying he was going to do it. Makes comments again in 2017 that Clarkson's already been there a too long time. Makes observations about Eddie Maguire being there longer than the Ark. And here he is again. So he throws, overthrows Richard Garvey in 2017, saying the club was a complete mess. Uh, was going to do one term, TJ. And then in February 2020 said, that will be my last year. I'll tell you what, my it's last a fair assessment. What are you, you, what are you getting at, Damon? It's you get time to August, for him to go. You get to August 2020. Just so you don't like him. You, you get to August to 2020 go, and he says he's going around again for another three years. What, 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 what do you reckon this is all Kenneth's fault, do you? He has to follow. Well, Hang on, you reckon this is all Jeff Kennett's fault? Absolutely it's all Jeff Kennett's fault. And as such, because of what has happened and how poorly it's been handled, with the legacy that's been damaged on Alistair Clarkson, with the difficulty that he's created and made worse for, for Sam Mitchell, and the false promises and the false narratives and transparency claims... Well, don't you reckon Sam Mitchell and Alistair Clarkson have played a hand in this? Of course they have. Well, well so it's not all Jeff's fault. But he, he's the one who's ultimately brought it to a head. It's, it's on his watch and Clarkson's walked out. How mm. could they have done this better? Should they have uh, allowed for Sam Mitchell to go through through the Collingwood process. Yep. Yeah, and yep. if he gets the job, he gets the job. If he got the job, he got the yeah. job. And yep. if he didn't get the job, he comes back and learns. Yeah. Clark okay. coaches yeah. for yeah. two right. more yeah. 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 Kane's been sitting. Kane. Oh, yeah. I can so feel it. We can come. We can come back to. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, <laughs> I know you've got more. Yeah. You've got more. I hope Jeff's not watching, uh, and I hope he's not watching the volcano either, because I suspect Kane has been sitting there oh. just rumbling, ready to explode.
Yeah, well, the Damo's done a lot of it, but uh, just nine days ago, Alistair Clarkson said this. Now, we understood, of course, that there was going to be speculation. You know, will, will Clarkson move? What does it mean? Um, I, I, I laugh at it in one way because if, if they're saying that, they don't really know me well, and that's what I'm trying to portray today. I'll see through my commitment. I've always been that way. That's the in sickness or in health for me. That's, um, I'm, I'm going to continue on and do this role until the end of next year. So he's got away with any criticism, Scott Free, Alistair Clarkson, because he's been smart enough to spin his way out of it. How he can then front the media seven days later and say that he's decided to leave, just, it absolutely amazes me. And the way that he did spin it was that it was all in favour of the club. It was for Sam Mitchell's benefit. But can I just tell you how he's left the Hawthorne Football Club and Sam Mitchell if it was for his benefit? Well, he's left him with one of the worst lists in the competition because Alistair Clarkson has traded away most of their picks. He's left them with a job that he wasn't ready to do. That was 12 months or 18 months down the track. And he's left them with a $900,000 hole in their soft cap, meaning that Sam Mitchell is going to be two, three coaches short, a doctor, a masseuse, a development manager at the, at the Hawthorne Football Club. So I've got a lot of sympathy for Sam Mitchell and what he's walking into. And I'm you know, really disappointed that Alistair Clarkson could get up there for 13 minutes and plead with us to believe in that he's going to be there and seven days later he's not. So I think some criticism needs to be directed at Alistair Clarkson as well. He may say, though, to you that they didn't want me and I have to look after myself in this situation. Well, and he's only just realised that in seven days, Lord. No, seven but seven it, days ago, he yes, pleaded with us but, to believe him. Yep, yeah, but there's clauses, uh, you know, in regards to the financial arrangement, isn't there, Damon, that if he just walked himself... Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, he, he wouldn't have got he his money unless, unless Hawthorne came to the arrangement. So, yeah, yeah. So, then, so then don't yeah. spin it that it's for the benefit of the club. Mm. Say, oh, I wanted to get mm. my money. Give, give us that. And now, and now he says that... He's not sure whether he's going to coach again next year. Why would any of us believe that? Yeah. He couldn't believe a word that he's yeah. saying. But we're talking about poor Sam Mitchell here. I mean, he's sitting there. He'd be pumped that he's now the coach next year to yeah. have a blank canvas. Yes, there are some restrictions, but make no mistake, Sam Mitchell doesn't want Alistair Clarkson there next year no. yeah. uh, being the overlord. And he wants to coach his side in his outright. But Very you know how confident Sam Mitchell yeah. is. He's pumped yes. that this has happened and he wants to coach that footy club next year. But how year. bad's their list? They're bottom of the ladder. And he's well, going to be under a lot of pressure. He is going to be under a lot of pressure. The venom from but the But as members. confident as he is, yeah. he'll yeah. think that he can handle yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, agree with that and that's what Hawthorne are backing him in for. I want to take aim at the boot starter because he's the only one we haven't blamed for all this. So, uh, Damo, we'll talk about him a little later on. Right, let's get they still have boot starters. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they still have boot starters. Good.